This video is sponsored by Squarespace. In my opinion, there are few things more important than lighting. Lynn is the model that has been in many of our videos and I haven't been able to get a hold of her. She won't answer my phone calls, but we are here at her house and we are going to surprise her and do a video while we're here. Lynn is doing a craft and the lighting is horrible around her. So we're going to make this whole situation look better. First, the lighting out of the window looks really blue and the, the inside the house looks orange here. The highlights outside are clipping. There's not much dimension to her face. I just don't think this is the best possible situation here. Right now, I am using the Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K G2. And I have this cool DZO zoom lens on it. And I'm at 55 millimeters and I'm trying to find my angle. I think it's important to remember that the first step of lighting is actually framing the shot, making sure your camera is where you want it to be and that your focal length is dialed in. From there, you can start thinking about where the lighting should be coming from. Remember, with our eyes, we see wide. When you step into a room, you see everything. The magic of cinema is the frame. The lighting needs to be motivated by things in the frame. If it's not in the frame, it doesn't exist to the audience. You know what, let's go pretty low here. See what this looks like. When in doubt, bring the camera lower. There's something about it. And I've, I've thought a lot about this. There's this imagination we have as a child and memories we have in our childhood when we saw this level and something about the camera being lower maybe triggers that. Maybe I'm thinking too deeply into this stuff, but I really like, what in the world is going on? The screen keeps wigging out. The other thing I'm looking at is my lines in the background. Remember, vertical lines are important to pay attention to. Right now, where I've placed the camera, the vertical lines are actually vertical. So what I've done is I've set my camera's exposure for the lighting that I cannot control. So I have exposed for the sky. And now that I'm happy, I'm going to turn the inside lights off. Hey, turn the lights off. Now you can really see what these interior lights were doing. Take care of your light pollution. You don't want nasty LED lights from ceilings or things ruining your shot. Now I'm ready to start bringing in lights. And the first light I'm going to bring in is a key light. I can see an opportunity right here for a big key light. I'm using a microphone boom pole because it's all I have right now with a Cardellini clamp on a gobo head on top of this impact boom stand. I've got this big piece of diffusion. This is basically called a T-bone. See that? It's a T-shaped. Sometimes as filmmakers, you just have to work with what you have. It may not be the perfect tool, but you need to problem solve. And it's not perfect, but it's gonna get the job done. Ta-da! Big giant diffusion. Oh, this is a bounce. I'm going to bounce a light into this. You may find it interesting that I'm lighting, but I haven't set up any lights yet. It's because that controlling the lighting with modifiers is more important than the light. All right, Aperture 600D Pro coming in. You don't actually have to use a light like this to do this. You could double up with some lights that aren't quite as bright. If somebody who didn't know about lighting bought this light, they actually wouldn't be able to do very much with it. The most important thing is the skills in your brain. Of course, it's easy for me to say that because I have all the equipment I've ever wanted. Man, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm lighting something, I get this rush. I'm so excited to see what that first light's gonna look like. Here we go. Let there be light. And we have our key light in place coming from the left. I like it. Now, the reason why I've chosen to bring her key light in from the left is because of this window. The audience will see this window and think, oh, light must be coming from it. When in reality, my lighting is coming from this direction, as long as it's coming from that same screen side, we're okay. Next, the audience is gonna wonder, whoa, why isn't this window lighting her just as much? So now I'm going to bring in a light coming from this direction. This is the Aperture Nova, and it's time to turn on the backlight and on. 
And the problem with having a light low like this, especially for a backlight, is sometimes it's unnatural. So I'm going to raise it up. There we go. I'm liking this because now we've got this little bit of shine on her hair and it looks natural to me. What I want to do next is make the background look a little bit more interesting. I'm going to put a light out of the window and improve this flat background. Some people disagree, but I have a specific philosophy about lighting. Make it look natural, but make it look beautiful. And I think that it's okay to make lighting look a little bit more fantastic than real life. All right, let's see what this accent light is doing. Hmm. Well, <laughs> don't expect these things to make the world of difference. It is an accent light after all. It's not completely necessary. Yeah, I wanna make that backlight a little bit softer on her. So I'm gonna bring in some diffusion and tone down that backlight because it's a little bit harsh. What are you making, Lynn? You wanna let us know what this project is? No. You know, we're trying to do a video, but I don't know, could, is there any way you could like make that a little bit quieter? So, all right, let's go outside for a minute. Let's go. I think I've figured out the problem. It's always about her. Everything is about Lynn. Okay, there's more to life than lighting. Yeah, we get that, but what is, what is more to life than lighting? Not much. Your little crafts aren't more important than my lighting. Sometimes I wonder if she really cares about the channel, what we're trying to do here. I guess while we wait for Lynn, we can introduce today's sponsor, Squarespace. When Squarespace reached out to us, we were ecstatic because we've needed to redo our website for years. We are excited to use Squarespace because with Squarespace, we can seamlessly add our YouTube videos to our website so they can load quickly for our viewers. We can also add password protected pages to our site. Our work is going to look super great on our site too, since Squarespace has lots of professional portfolio designs to choose from. Also, every template on Squarespace looks great on mobile devices as well. Look at this stuff, so many amazing website designs to choose from. Look, if you feel like your website needs some help too, check out squarespace.com and let's be Squarespace buddies. Now that you can hear me better, what I was going to show you was when you're positioning something like diffusion here, don't bring in the stand immediately, audition it, figure out where you want it to be. And I think this looks great right here. The light can still be hitting those oranges, but Lynn's backlight is toned down. So now that I have this positioned where I want it to be, I'm going to position the C stand where I want that to be and lock everything into place. I really like where that is. Okay, now that that diffusion is brought in, it's a little bit less glamorous, but it's definitely more realistic. We have an edge to her shoulder here. Her hair is getting a little bit of attention. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I am going to use the power of this Nova light and make her side light here a little bit war more warm than normal. See that, see that? The lighting on the gray cupboard is really bright and that's because the light is going past this diffusion and hitting it more directionally. So I'm going to flag that off so the light isn't quite as bright in that area. Okay, this is a four by eight and I'm bringing it in right here and look at that. It's taking care of the cabinet. That's without it. And now this really tones that down. Being able to control your light with flags, diffusion, these are the basics of lighting. Cinematography is an art and it should be respected. I think it's important for us to respect the art of cinematography and to realize that it is a valid art form. I don't know what is going on with Lynn, but lately she's had this attitude issue. It's like, oh my gosh, can you have any more of a bad attitude here? What's going on? 
What happened? She just threw something away. What? Where'd she go? Oh my goodness. What could she possibly mean by this? Okay, all of our equipment's inside and now we're locked out. Man. I think I've figured this out. Lynn needs more attention from subscribers. She needs more comments saying, good job, Lynn, we love you. Uh, keep up the good work, Lynn. To put it simply, this isn't my fault. It's your fault. Uh, she probably just needs more attention. You know, the joke's on her. If we're not paying her, how can she quit? Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash epiclightmedia to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.